just pulling up to the campsite now. It is that time of year again already. And with our next big adventure around the corner, I thought it might be fun to rent a camper car this year. But seeing as we're in Japan, I figured it'd be best to do it with a little bit of a twist. And so I've rented a K. It's a K. And if you don't know what a K car is, basically a type of tiny Japanese car. The engines are limited to 660 cc and 64 horsepower, and you can't put more than four people in this, well, legally. This car is actually so small that I don't think I'm gonna be able to maneuver my whole camera rig around inside. To give you an idea of how big the camera rig is, yeah. So we're gonna shoot a lot of today on action cams, because that's just easier, just, just like that. Let's take a look inside this car now for about a day and I still don't think that I've found all of its cool secrets. First things first, let me clear this out and open the doors. I guess the first really obvious feature would be this little table. It's removable so obviously you can take it out and it can actually be set up outside as well. Let's clear it out and make some space. All right, now that we have it cleared out, let's take a peek. So this is a gasoline powered car, but there are solar panels up on the roof. And tucked in here is a 2000 watt power inverter, Got USB and everything. It's charging from the solar panel right now. One of my favorite things that I have not had a chance to try out yet is the microwave. There's a microwave in here. You gotta press this button here and the microwave turns on and I have, you know, it lets coffee, pizza, you know, coffee start. <gasps> it runs, but I want to get a bit more light in here. So let's open up the pop top. Is that what it's called? Let's call it a pop top. You know what? I've got this here. I think this just sticks to stuff. There we go. That works. <laughs> Stick it right up. Does it come off easy? Not super easy. We'll figure that out later. That's future Norm's problem. I've been getting a lot of questions lately. Like, how did you get this shot? How did you get this shot? And I... There we go. And so today I thought that it might be fun to share a little bit of behind the scenes as we do it. And show you how I get some of these shots. A lot of the tricky shots are just done with tiny cameras, like this one. Like there is no way I'd be able to get shots into tiny little spaces like this otherwise. Cameras just aren't gonna fit, look at this. And on that note, before we get into the pop-up top, which I don't know if I love or if I'm terrified of, I'm actually impressed with how much storage space is just distributed out th throughout throughout this entire thing. It is plentiful, but let's head up here. Duh, the pop-up top. So when I first found this, I thought, okay, it's, it's just so you can stand and, and have a little bit of extra space. It, it is not. You can, if you wanted to, should you be so inclined, you could actually sleep up here. Check this out. Okay, that was the wrong way. You take this board thing here, you lay it on. There we go. It'd be a tight fit, but in a pinch, if you really needed to or, or really wanted to, you could sleep up here. I also get the feeling that it would probably be a better fit for short people. Also, do not mistakenly go to use these to pull yourself up. Otherwise, you'll close the whole thing on yourself. Not saying that I've done it. Also, this might be my favorite shot so far. You know what, let me show you this. I've used the Insta360 GoTo's sticky mount to just like stick it to the side of the tent. Just put it anywhere. I wasn't kidding when I say I love this little camera. Let's head back down. Also a fun little feature that you don't really expect to see in a K car is this. Yes, that is a shower head. I don't think it's really meant to be properly used as a shower. Actually, this right here, <laughs> which I opened completely improperly, is a sink. So 
you could like wash your hands and everything. And I guess in a pinch, you could probably use this for a shower. I haven't used it yet. You may have also noticed this right here. And this is a bit of a fan for at night when the air can get all stuffy. Mind you, these help a lot. Actually, it got kind of cold last night, but it's got the battery meter and everything here and quite a bit of air can get pumped out of here. And there's an awning. This, this I love, this saved me last night. You've got to grab this pole out of here, hook that into there, and then if you've ever set up an awning, it's a pretty standard story. And you're done. And it started raining really bad after I got here and I wanted to set up a fire and do a live stream and everything like that. And thanks to the awning, we could. And I'm sure you're wondering how comfortable it is to actually sleep in. I slept in it last night and it was, it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. Nighttime in this thing can be pretty cool because well, these are my own lights, by the way. There's a light up here, but if you want privacy, which obviously you're gonna want, especially if you're sleeping at like a parking area or something, you can just close these up. You just button them right to the wall like that. And you're good. Then as for sleeping space, I would say there's just enough space to lay down diagonally. I could probably go straight like this if I put my legs between the seats and was okay with hitting my head. Or, or if you're the kind of person who like, sleeps kind of curled up definitely definitely enough space also i just kind of like this angle let's check up honestly this was a lot cooler during the daytime at night you become very aware that a it's just, it's just pure darkness out there you can't see anything and b if you have to go to the washroom and there's somebody sleeping right below you, it's really not an ideal situation, especially if you've got like a pad and a sleeping blanket and everything like that, and you can really feel it moving up here. Okay, we're, uh, we're gonna go ahead and... Oh. You can seriously feel everything shaking. Let's... I'm also yet to figure out how to get this TV to work. Probably have to run the engine. I wonder, can I reach right now? Okay, start of the engine. TV works fine-ish. Oh. No, that's off. Does it? Figure that out later. When I looked at this thing today, I was like, nah, there's, there's no way that there's gonna be enough space for me to actually sleep in that, especially with my baggage. But you move your bags up to the front seat and this thing actually feels incredibly Spacious. I still have no idea how to use that TV, by the way. And we're gonna have to pack up soon and head to our next campsite. I've actually rented this for a week long adventure that's coming up in a couple weeks on the Tokyo Lens Explorer channel, where we're gonna do live streams in different cities and areas every single day for an entire week. I'm, I'm there's lots of bugs. I'm very, very excited about that. But before we pack up, do you remember that, that Pelican case that I pulled out? There's something I want to do with that. Give me a second. Although this looks like a toy, this is one of my favorite little FPV drones from a company called Beta FPV. And I can put my Insta360 Go to it. It's actually another camera, but I broke it by trying to fly it clear through the vi So we're, we're gonna give it a shot again today. Might break another camera. Who knows? Well, that one almost went better. <laughs> I could play for hours, but it is time to pack this up and head to our next campsite. Also, because the go-to is magnetic, you just stick it right to the side of the car. Don't have to worry about a thing. Here we go.
Okay, now we're on our way. If you've never driven a K car, by the way, there's only two types, you can hear the engine right now, there's only two types of people. Either you absolutely love it or you absolutely hate it. You feel every little bump and the engine has absolutely no power. Again, it's a, it's a 64 horsepower engine at best and bump. They are far from being a smooth and comfortable ride, but I kind of enjoy the novelty of it. I, I like them. So I made it up to the top of a mountain in the hopes of seeing, yes, I have the drone in my hands, in the hopes of seeing, so there was a rainbow a minute ago and I thought I could catch it with the drone and by the time I got back, it was gone. It was a fleeting moment. That giant parking lot looking thing is gonna be my campsite for the night. It looks like just a giant parking lot, but actually you can use this as a free camping space, which is why they have the washrooms. Just put that right there. But the road is closed during the winter time so every other time that I've ever tried to come up here, I've been very unsuccessful. I'm always surprised by just how big the awning is. So I was about to eat, but I want to wash my hands first. And I, I could do it in the bathroom, but all the lights are off and it's super dark. I think this is a good chance to figure out how to use the sink. I think I'm, I'm taking a shot in the dark. <laughs> There's no manual. Well, there is a manual, but it doesn't show how to put the water in, so. All right, that doesn't work. I guess we're going into the dark bathroom anyway. All right, that should be enough. This goes back up here for the moment of truth. Nothing's happening. Do I need to, does this switch control this as well? It might. It does. It worked. Okay, all right, don't need all that. Okay, then, then what? There's a drain here, but for the life of me, I, I can't figure out how to get the drain to drain. Where is the, what do we do? You can't just, what? I wonder if we can just like kind of pull it out. I don't, I don't want to break it. <gasps> it just pulls out. It was upside down. Someone put it in upside. It's supposed to have a little thing and you should just be able to, it was upside down. That explains there, okay. And it seems like it pours out onto the van. But it started raining now. Can you hear the rain? And the fire is just about good. It's just coals. So I should be able to have a quick bite soon and then, and then get set up to sleep. Now I can close all the curtains, get a good night's rest. Where did I put my sleeping bag? There we go. I'll obviously link the camper van down below in case you are interested, future reference and all that. And I will link all the little cameras that I played around with today from Insta360 and maybe some videos if you want to check those out. These ones right here, the Insta360 Go 2. I carry two of these on me at all time. I, just, I use them so much that one just isn't enough storage or battery wise. I love the fact that I can just stick it to stuff too. I'll drop it all in the description box down below. This camper van, what do you think? Would, would you stay in this? Would you sleep in this? How about this part up here? That's the part that I'm super, super curious about. I don't know if I would stay up there. Like maybe if I absolutely had to, but if you gotta go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, at least here, you know, you got solid walls and everything like that, I should close the curtains. I don't know. I like it though. It's still one of my 
favorite little feature. You just sit up there and read comics or something. I don't know why that came to mind, but it did. Thank you guys so much for joining. Let me know what you thought about the camper van down below. And you know, I will see you again real soon. I feel like there were some bloopers in this one. Sorry, I, I just realized I never showed if the microwave works or not. So I'm testing that now. That's a chicken breast, by the way, and it's incredibly hot, so it works. The microwave works. And, ow. <laughs> I jammed my thumb into it. That was very painful. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's amazing I make it back from these adventures alive. It's just, okay, trying again. It just feels so awkward to do it. It feels so vulnerable. Also, the fake drone shot is by far one of my favorites. I just use a really long pole. Look at this. Like, like really, it's, it's a very, it's a very long pole. But seeing as this is Japan, there's a bit of a catch. It's a K-truck. With all the curtains closed, the audio in here is actually really nice. I could probably record podcasts in here. Podcasts on the road. I really missed out on using this mount the last time I used this thing in a video. I'm gonna use this more. <gasps> that scared the heck out of me. I had no idea what was going on. Okay, reshooting that. Never did figure out how to get the TV working.